Well, hi, thanks for joining me this morning. Hey, this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to show two things I picked up at yard sales recently. And the first one is totally by accident. I have bought a box of uh, uh, little building blocks for my uh, up and coming grandchild to play with. And in that box was this. Okay, so this was in the box in a couple of pieces. It didn't quite look like this. The tail was off of it. And, I, you know, I paid no attention to it when I bought it. I just wanted to buy the uh, Duplo pieces in it. So I'll check this out. Uh, up on my bench here, this, this might not go well. <laughs> let's, just, let's just say this might not go well. So he fell off. He, he's, he's gone to sleep. Let's try him again. Well, it will balance on two feet. There we are. That's a demonstration anyway. <laughs> Pretty funny stuff, eh? These sell for, you know, 150 bucks. Can you believe it? And I paid a couple dollars for the box. But that's not really what I wanted to show you. Just thought you'd get a kick out of that. Look at this. Ah, this is a great memory for me. I had a radio like this years ago. And uh, I, I lost it over the years. Um, so I saw this at a yard sale yesterday, and I picked it up for very little money. Um, it's a nine-band radio. That in itself is great, uh, having nine different bands on it. Have a look. Have a look at all these bands. Let's see if we can get up close enough to actually read them on camera. Might not be able to. So, AM. Shortwave 1, Shortwave 2, Citizen's Band, that's this one here. It actually has the channel numbers, 40, 35. FM, regular FM broadcast. Public Service 1, 2, and 3, so it's three UHF, VHF bands, and then the aircraft control band down here. Uh, this radio works fantastic. May I highly recommend Country Gold with Daryl Mc... Lots more country memories. Four hours with... Well, it's not going to work so well down here in my shop. I'm not going to demonstrate either. It has a, a couple of dirty switches and stuff like that. But otherwise, this is a wonderful radio. It, it, it really is. Yeah, it's not digital. String tuning. You know, it's, it, in, in that respect, it's not the greatest, but... Uh, I'm happy to have it. Look, it's got two antennas. Two, uh, as it like a like a shorter UHF and then a longer FM VHF antenna. Uh, signal strength here. Um, squelch has a squelch control. BFO has a BFO you can turn on and off. That's kind of neat. And those are the band switches. Plugs in the wall. Runs on batteries. Came with batteries. Fortunately, the uh, lights don't come on. But maybe that's because it's on, because it's turned off right now. But uh, it could be these are either burned out or maybe on batteries they, they don't even come on. I can't remember now, but uh, it's a great, 
nostalgia piece for me. I didn't have the nine bander, I had a six band version of this. So there we go. Cool. Now let's get back to some some real work in my shop. <laughs>